In this tutorial, we'll be adding a logo to our 360 degree video. This particular video was created with the LG 360 cam. This is Corel Paint Shop Pro, a pretty powerful but much less expensive alternative to Photoshop. Let's load up the logo that I created earlier. It's a square 2560 by 2560. I want it to be the same width as our video. Uh, because of the way that this particular effect works in Paint Shop Pro, we'll want to invert the video. So we'll go to Image, Rotate Right, and Image, Rotate Right to invert it. Now we select Effects, Distortion Effects, Polar Coordinates. Now uh, if this had been at default, Preview on Image would have been turned off and it would have been set to rectangular to polar, which is not the way we want. We want polar to rectangular, and we will preview it on the image, and you see how it has distorted it quite a bit. <coughs> so, click OK to make the effect permanent. Now, we will uh, res resize our image. We do not want lock aspect ratio because we want to change one and not the other. So we're going to leave our width set at 2560 and we'll set this to the height to 300. Found that looks pretty good in the video. And OK. So this will go the full width of our video once it's added in. Now we could use it just like this, but you would have to place it at the top or bottom of the video as you wanted. Uh, to simplify things, we will, and we will flip it back over upright, and then we will increase our canvas size so that we have a so that it is the same size as our final video. And we'll just have transparency above the logo so that we can just lay it over the top of the video. Uh, in PaintShop Pro, we want to go ahead and change this to a raster layer so that we'll have transparency once we change the canvas size. So we're going to leave our width at 2560, set our height to 1280 as our final video. We want to make sure it's adding the transparency to the top. It might default to this where it would be doing half top and half bottom. So we want to make sure it's just adding to the top. And OK. And now we have our final image. We'll save that as a uh, PNG so that it maintains the transparency. call it logo 360 okay that's saved now we can go over to uh, our video editor to add it to our video okay this is hit film pro it uh, is used for editing compositing special effects uh, you could probably use whatever editor you like that would just, that allow you to lay an image over the top of your video. So let's go ahead and load up our image. There's our logo we created in PaintShop Pro. Now we just add that above our video. Now it's going to be laid in on top. So once you've done that, added it to your video, it's just a matter of exporting it. In this particular program, select export. We need to change our level to use this custom size. Um, I have been using 24 target megabits per second target bit rate and 40 megabits per second max bit rate, and that seems to look pretty good once it's on YouTube. 
we do not want audio for this no reason to expect this audio and then we'll just click export decide where we want to save it go ahead and give it a name we'll just call this one tutorial save and it will be in the export so now we'll jump ahead after the export okay our export is complete we can close out of this and let's go take a look at it in colorize to, to make sure it's what we want okay there's our fairly dull 360 degree video but we have added our logo it's a nice circle straight down and it covers up the ghost of the camera that shows up at the bottom of this camera if you're using a camera that only had one-sided lens like a Kodak SP360 you could drop this logo right into the large black hole that it leaves uh, the other thing we need to do to upload to YouTube is add the 360 metadata this is the 360 video metadata tool downloaded from Google so we open that up open our video file and it says no metadata found so we want it spherical save as it will add injected you can name it whatever you want just make sure you remember which one it is and save okay it's saving another copy with the metadata now it's saved with the metadata injected and you can quit and now we have a file that's ready for upload to YouTube you just use your normal YouTube upload and you'll have a 360 video with your logo applied